No. That hasn't been recording yet? Uh, <laughs> that's the best. Yo, John. We lost 15 minutes of nap. No, no, no. That's audio. That shit was good. <laughs> we got it here. Can you clean the lens a little bit, please? Ah, shit. Cleans the lens. Yeah, clean the lens. Because we... Uh, please, I want you guys to see my glow. I have a thing to clean it, though. I want to see my glow. Let me tell you, you know, first of all, I want to say thank you to the good people inside uh, our, our secret location. Uh, I, I could give away the name, but I haven't even checked clearance on that. But I just want to give a shout out to the, the staff that is helping us out here. My wonderful and darling friend, Juicy Jen. I know she's out there in the back. She's probably hearing this. I don't know, but I love her for being so hospitable and her friend, Sammy. And we've got uh, Mariah out there and our good homie stone with the dread stone is cool man he comes in here like any any problem we've had he's been like our yamari yeah. or our noodles of the show today he's been coming uh, in here and just flips up switch and you know what we haven't said yet we need a good old fuck you walter thank you jesus christ i thought i had to say it i thought you were gonna make me say it, but you said it I'm crying behind these shades, ladies and gentlemen. Like, to hear someone else say, fuck you, Walter. You know, funny, we just did our, our, our greatest hits. Oh, yeah, which... I got to do one more greatest hits for just for the fans. What's that? No, I'll, I'll save it. Okay, save it. But I just did the best of videos, right? Okay. And um, I hadn't seen some of these videos in a while, which you, you'll see some of me and you in there. And like, like I, I feel like time has really taken us in these five years. Like, if you go back to season one and you look at us now, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Time, time has passed for uh, real. Like, uh, the faces are looking longer in the tube now. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, damn, man. I was looking good when the pandemic started. I you broke my looked own. like a little young thug that was willing to steal my equipment if I didn't pay attention. Like, <laughs> at still, first? Yeah, yeah. And I look like your uncle that would have encouraged you <laughs> like, like it looked really bad and um i'm not saying that it looks any better now but but uh, i was looking at one of these clips and we had did this live show and um you know, I, I tell the crowd, hey, you know, it's a real crowd and you hear someone, you know, scream. And I said, hey, it's Walter's birthday. You guys want to wish Walter a happy birthday. And I think we had a loyal fan of the show because all of a sudden I hear in the background, fuck Walter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, Walter. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <sighs> I love it. Like, it's music to my ears. But yes, Walter, it's season and five, I six, don't know seven. If, fuck off. Do you have jokes like this with Jack in them? Like, just reoccurring... Oh man, you know what, Jack? Jack couldn't, you know what, shout out to Jack. He left, he, he's not on the show anymore. He went up to New York. Uh, but he couldn't get over the fact that I said so much <laughs> fuck off Walter. Like he had trouble understanding that. He was like, he couldn't understand why. Um, you, know, uh, you know what, on this Walter tip? Yeah. I just gotta say next topic. Right. You know, we're up here in Central Florida. You know, we gotta ask some of these people um, when we get a chance to interview them here, like, what did they use, like, last, last You know what we really year? gotta ask them? What's that? What did they use to stay away from Florida Man as a kid? Oh, but there's a lot of Florida Man up here. Down south, we got Florida Man, but I think No, no, Florida it's... Man takes trips to Miami to do a little meth. <laughs> yeah, right. Walk around a little Haiti. Right. You know. Talk to the ghosts. <laughs> but we Florida have, Man... You know why we don't get a lot of um, Florida Man? I can tell you why we don't get a lot of Florida Man down there. Because we don't have Florida Man like that, really. We have Miami Man. No, Florida Man's on, on I-75 and on I-4. That's where you find Florida Man. Yeah, I think Florida Man stops at Fort Lauderdale. N nah, Florida Man doesn't because like Because Miami, man, a, a man from Miami is the guy I, that we have down there. No, let's do the real Florida map, all right? So you got Dade County. Everybody knows what Dade County is. Another country. Another country. Right. And then Broward is where, you know, is it's Dade County when you got to get out of Dade County a little bit. Yeah, because okay. it's suburban Day County. Right. That's all it is. Right. Because I was gonna say maybe like west of Broward, like 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 Westin. No, that's just that's that's, that's like just kind of swell in terms rent's of getting crazy. Is it Broward or Homestead? What am I finna do? Right. Makes sense. Um, but then there's West Palm. West Palm is rich people, and the other side. Of, I think West Palm is where you get. A, you know, there's a higher chance of some Florida men. Yes. From there, moving into You're Jupiter. Right. Lake Worth, Jupiter. Like like Naples, the west coast of Florida, for oh, sure it's Florida, man. Port St. Lucie? 
Yes, definitely Florida man. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, the best the best tips here that we're telling you is pay attention to the cities we're mentioning. If you want to go find you or see you a Florida man, like if you're like from like, I don't know, from like Connecticut or something, you're watching this show and you want to take a trip to Florida and you want to say, hey, I want to meet a Florida man. Go on an airboat ride. Right. right. Listen to and, the areas that we're so, mentioning Look, here. sometimes you could be on mushrooms. You go on an airboat ride and then you realize that the conductor is actually a ghost. <laughs> hey, you know, you just hit me with something. What if you like had the opportunity to write a tour guide pamphlet? <laughs> like, you seen the one where you go in hotels and they have all those pamphlets of shit from Florida? Yeah. If you had a chance to do one yourself, right, a Florida tour guide pamphlet, what would yours consist of? Uh, I, 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 I would actually rather talk to you about this off camera. <laughs> It's one of those. It's one of those. I got it. Okay. <laughs> I figured we could catch people up for 2022 real quick. Okay. And I wanted to kind of pull up a story from the show that um, I thought was interesting, and I want to see what your opinions are on it. Let me see. I have I, actually I got a few of them sitting here. Uh, this one here. Okay. This one here is hilarious. This one here. This is actually a little older story, but um. It's from the Washington Post. It's a Michigan woman, a Michigan woman tried to hire an assassin online at rentahitman.com. You heard the, you, you heard the, re the headline? Assassin. No, I'm, I'm gonna explain it again because you, you look like you, you bullshitting over there, watch. It, it, again, I read it, it's from the Washington Post, it's an article. And uh, the story, what the hell? I think I lost my- uh, I don't even trust the brother Washington Post owned by Amazon. So it says, a Michigan woman tried to hire an assistant online at rentahitman.com. So she was trying to write, uh, hire a hitman on a website. Mm -hmm. So the story goes, a seething and vengeful Wendy Ween was on the lookout for the professional killer she meant to hire as she waited inside a southeastern Michigan's cafe in July of uh, 2020. Wayne, or I'm saying that wrong, or Wayne, it's W-E-I-N, Wayne. Sounds like a Wayne. Wayne wanted her ex-husband dead, but she didn't want to kill him herself and didn't know anyone she trusted to do it for her. So she did what a lot of people do when they have a job they can't or don't want to do themselves. She searched for help online. What Wayne found was presumably reassuring. The website promised her confidentiality. It boasted of industry awards. It showed off testimonials. What industry is this? The, the Hitman Industry yeah, Award? Apparently. And what, they know, have a Hitman convention? Apparently there's like JP, and, yeah, you know, like JD yeah, Power? But just once a year in Vegas, all the hit people show up? Right, so you can imagine, you know, JD Power and Associates probably comes around and says, listen, we don't just do this for cars. It's the killer ball. Right, so if you want to hire good quality. All the players Like a blue star. <laughs> To the killer's ball. You get like one of them wearing AKs and gats. I mean, at the killer's ball. Okay, when you go Uber, right? You you do you feel better with oh, your driver being five what, star, right? What if, <laughs> you what don't if it was so easy? Star. You're you're driving Uber, right? Uh -huh. And the Uber tells you, all right. For a quick fifteen hundred, you can just go shoot somebody. There's a gun. It's gonna pull. It's gonna, it's gonna no, fall. No, but I'm gonna want to check your star rating because on that one there, I need you to have. No, five no, no. Stars. I mean, you're an Uber driver, right? Uh -huh. Regular day driving Uber, but it's the future. So nobody has cars. A car pull, like a self-driving car, pulls up. Right, and you're which the, is pretty soon. Coming. Pretty soon. Yeah. This is what I like. Go with yeah. me here. Ah, uh, you, you, you know, you're just. Basically, breaking for pedestrians is your only job. This thing is going for you. People hop in and out. Eventually, it, you know, you're making $20 a ride, $20 a ride, $20 a ride, but it tells you $3,500. You go in, you, you, walk, you have to walk into the community college, kill the professor, walk out. Right. So, like, your out. Uber driver also does killing, too, is what you're saying. Why, what, like, did, would you do it? Well, I mean... If I'm hot for money, and this is a good job... And they'll get away with it. 
I mean, because that's where I'm going with this metaphor, right? Where it's like, it's government allowed. Like, the government is telling you, yo, just go fucking take them out. But they, you'd have to have purpose, I would assume. No, the, the, but it's the government's purpose. Right. So, so I it, mean... If fucking... Amazon is in charge of the world, for example. Or Amazon. <laughs> Let's call them Amazon. All right, Amazon's in charge of the world. It, it's, you know, it's the Amazon versus Snapple right. election. <laughs> and whichever team you're down with, Samsung or iPhone, uh-huh. it'll just pay you money to take people out. And it, if Apple tells you to But you got to sign up for the app. Or it just sends it to you at random? It just might know you're the type of person that would do it. Right. Your phones are always watching you anyway, so it might figure out with all the shit you're doing. Oh. <laughs> it might just, figure you're worthy. You watch this kind of porn. You, 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 you definitely get into fights. You know, whatever it is, your phone's just going to tell you, oh, yeah, go take this out. Just right here. <laughs> like, like, you know what? Like, it, like... I, I see where you're going with it, right? So, like, if you're, like, a pervy dude and you're checking a lot of porn on your phone, that, you know, the government might hire and be like, hey, I need you to go, you know, have sex with that person and kill him. But you're kind of pervy, so you might just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, th- I think I fucked it up for you there, but I think I know where you're going with it, too. I mean, sure. I mean, that's great. But listen, apparently this company had awards, okay? So let's slow down. We're, we're being hypothetical. This, this, this one here had awards, apparently. So uh, I continue. And uh, where'd I go? Okay, yeah. So it, it showed off testimonials of satisfied customers, including one from Laura S., who had caught my husband cheating with the babysitter, quote okay. unquote. The and website bragged about complying with HIPAA. So apparently it was a safety protocol. <laughs> so I think HIPAA's like a disclosure, right? The HIPAA Act, they can't disclose your information. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it is. But I thought that was only for medicine, but apparently that's for the rule of killing too. Yeah. Like, apparently if you're going to have a hitman company, you got to register with HIPAA because if not, you're violating federal acts. I get it. I get it. No, I get it. Hold on. Now, let me continue on to see if we can make some more sense of this. So, uh, I repeat. The website bragged about complying with HIPAA, which it said was the Hitman Information Privacy and Protection Act. Oh, okay. So, their HIPAA means something different. Yeah. It's they... not the regular one. My bad. And, it's, and it was established in 1994 because it, it goes, the official term is the Hitman Information Privacy Protection Act of 1964. Okay, so this has kind of been in law for a little bit. A nod to the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act or HIPAA, the law passed in 1996 to protect patients' medical information. So the original HIPAA from 64 was for hitmen. In 96 is the medical one. So you got They're just trying to legitify this shit. This, <laughs> this is the Washington Post. It was written for third graders. So the trouble for Wayne was that renahitman.com is a fake website. That's amazing. Of course it is. <laughs> it's not run by Guido Finelli, as it claims. <laughs> you know Guido Finelli? Yeah, you got to hire a real fucking... <laughs> Italiano. You want a good pizza? You want a good hit? You gotta go to the mob. Would you Marron. Feel, would you feel safe if you went on renahitman.com and you had seen maybe like a, an Asian person? No, no, no. Name, maybe like one of like or something. A few of my boys gotta use it first. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get testimonials. That's some... I know that dude, John. <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> so so a name like Guido Finelli must have did it for this lady, you know. That's, that makes it authentic. I mean, yeah, if you think it hit think, me, you think about like it like Italian, this, right? Like, right? This lady's from China, where they do this kind of shit. Well, just by her last think it name, says right? Where she's right. From. But I'm imagining white husband that fucking got a right. Oh no, she's from Northern California because it kind of continues on here. So uh, I, I continue to read. Um, it's not run by Guido Finelli, as it claims, but by Bob Ines, a 54-year-old Northern California man who forwards any serious inquiries to law enforcement. Ines 
launched the site 16 years ago as part of an internet security business that never went anywhere. Instead, it has served as a honeypot of sorts, attracting people who want to hire professional killers. For Wayne, it didn't go well. She was arrested within days of seeking out an assassin and pled guilty earlier this month to solicitation of murder and using a computer to commit a crime. Under her plea agreement, she faces at least nine years in prison when she is sentenced, which would have been January of uh, 2021, I'm guessing. Wayne, 52, is not the only one who has gotten stuck in Inez's digital trap. About 650 to 700 people have contacted him since he first registered the website in 2005, including about 400 who, like Wayne, filled out his service request form, which requires users to give their name, email address, and phone number along with the same information of their targets, Inez said. Inez vets the entries, which come in at a clip of about eight to 10 a month these days. He tosses the crank entries, but if he can verify the existence of the person requesting a hitman and the target they wanted killed, he forwards the information to, to one of the Rena Hitman's 17,985 field operatives, which- Wait, but this shit isn't real, right? So basically- what if, 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 But you're just describing the scam to me. So it's not a scam. So the man met, invented this fake website yeah, that yeah. really didn't go anywhere for him, which I don't know, they didn't exp they're not explaining why he invented it, but he never seemed to use it. But apparently he kept it open because people were hitting up information thinking it was a real website. So all he's doing is taking that information and passing it along here to the authorities, apparently. Yeah. yeah. And law enforcement agencies are just kind of, you know, going now and you know, catching these people on the trap. Yeah. They're, or they're just basically bro, soliciting you know, for... If someone's soliciting to kill you, the cops might just pull up on you and be like, hey, this person. That's premeditated murder, right? Wouldn't that be premeditated <laughs> murder at that point? Yeah, but it's just, you know, this fucking ex-person wants to clap you. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, the cops ain't going to come to you and do that. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? You going to be a little soft ass? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my gun. No, no, no. no, I don't know what they would do in that instance. <laughs> Gosh, Are you no. going to arrest them? Hey, you soft like that? You scared? No, but I think that's what it is. It, it's it's trying to solicit uh, the services of murder. It's a, there's, there's a, yeah, you'd get caught doing that. Yeah, for you sure. gotta that's, jail. that's a crime itself because, you you know, it's almost like an, uh, it's, it's got to be premeditated or attempted murder or something to that effect. One of the things we got to do this season is try to figure out everyone's top five. We got to do that. Okay. We, we got we got to we got to ask all our guests and make it a part of our theme. We want you. We we want since the season five people. We want to know what your top five are. We don't know what the top five Yo, is. We might switch it from time to time, but so we want to figure out your top five. I think my top five is going to change. Okay. So, but you know what? I'll, 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 do you do you got yours? Or do you, uh, you want to reveal your How about photos? this? I'm going to tell you name a top five, and you tell me to name a top five. So for you, um, name me your top five blunt raps. Oh, that's an easy one. Well, I wasn't trying to complicate your life. Okay. <laughs> it's fucking just or the top five. Let's just do raps, period. Yeah, yeah, just name me your five. You know, your five or okay, babe, okay. you know, like, what's your what, top five? Like, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that one is going to be the one, but... No, 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 you know, what's but because that way there's papers and there's blunts. Sure. The, oh, I say blunts, but you're right. You know, like joints or so, papers, so, like cause, the wraps. I then, say wraps. If it's blunt, you know, by five, I don't even like it that much. But if it's wraps... Well, I'd wraps you, in general. Okay. What, what are your top five wraps? Um, I'll rank them later. But okay. let's go Blue Pack Dutch Masters. Blue Pack Dutch Master. I haven't the even Palma. heard that one. I love Dutch Masters. Oh, Blue Pack, like the, the, the skinny little two one? Okay. The, the three one. The, the, the is three that like vanilla? No, no. I don't know what the fuck it is. But but it's just the, it's a better quality leaf than the honey. Yeah, okay. Because the two pack is the one I smoke the most. The berry and the honey. I'll, I'll lean towards the honey a little bit. 
Okay. Okay. So you, that's five. No, no, no. That's well. I'm I'm not saying all five, but I'm no, saying that's there's that's two one already. That's one of the yeah. Oh, what was the other one? So, so, so I guess for now I'll say blue. Uh huh. The three pack and the two pack off being you know that's number five. Okay. Um, the raw paper. Okay, I love raw papers. Classic. Those are good. You never so go much. wrong with a raw paper. Okay, I'm with you. And then hmm. I like the I like the OCBs. I like the elements. OCBs. What is that? Oh, just paper brands. I guess out of those, I like the mm, yeah. I like the OCBs because they got the they got the OCBs are the are the gold ones that everyone's has been around forever. The gold are those zigzags. JBs, I'm There's zigzag. JBs. JBs. There's JBs and zigzags. Those are nah, those are boomer wraps. Uh, boomer wraps. What is that? Those are fucking. You know that's what old man. Old like old fucking Florida hey. man. Florida man was spoke zigzags. Hey, you relax with us, us, us old guys. Fuck around with my zigzags. I love my JB. What I've been smoking lately is the Brother Broadleaf. Um, this is a, this is connoisseur grade blunt wrap. Bro what is it called? It's the Brothers Broadleaf. Brothers Broadleaf. Yeah. That sounds expensive. Shit. I mean, when you put anything on brothers like like the Brooks Brothers. Like, go buy some Brooks Brothers. This is Cuban cigar quality smoke. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's why you coming out here thinking about you Hispanic now, so you're using Hispanic-based products. I feel you, man. You're, just, you're getting committed to this. I, yo, you know what it is, too? Like, I don't only think in English. E, man, like, speaking Spanish is fun. Mira que aquí estamos en el quinto season en la quinta temporada, show. puñeta. Me siento como una rana. Ya tú sabes, hay gente allá afuera escuchándolo. You heard that? No fuimos. Yeah. Arriba, bro, 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 bro. It's a Spanish speaking crowd in there. I didn't even know that. I thought they were going to go, huh? Google translate that. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed, man. All right. So, okay, you got one more. So you went with the with the Brooks Brothers. Is, was that your fourth? Yeah, that's okay. Four. So Raws blunt wraps over there. <laughs> Raws blunt. Oh, so I'll just do. What's the last one? You got one more. Mm. Then you can't think of five, bro. No, nah, the shit the, you done smoked. Because <laughs> the the hemp papers are good. That's why it's hard. Because I'm not gonna. I don't want to promote the fronto leaf. Because you shouldn't do that to yourself. The who? Fronto leaf. Fronto. That sounds oh, like. Oh, grabba. I, I was on the grabbas for a minute. You know, grabbas. I've heard about I, I, that. I like a grabba before going on stage that to, to help me really talk so, like a fucking thug. So, so, so Philly blunts don't get no love in your five. No, I'm not a I, the backwoods. Don't I, do it. For I only you. smoke Phillies with Puerto Ricans <laughs> and Philly. <laughs> All right. So wait. So not even not even backwoods. Uh, oh no, I was gonna say like, so the brothers broadly. Mm -hmm. is is just it's a better backwood, but the banana backwood. And the Russian cream are the backwoods. And yeah, we could end it on that. Okay, okay. What's the five you want to suggest I, I, to me? I, I'm going to give you a fun one. You're a music guy. So okay. Musical acts, period. It could be a producer. It could be a rapper. It could be a band. Just your top five music acts. Top five musical and, acts. And you know what we could do? Mm -hmm. Since you're, so you're going to be on this every week. Yeah. Just give me one of them today and you'll reveal one every week. Sure. Okay. So for me, the fifth, right? Top five musical acts. And now, mind you, I barely go to live shows. I, I no, no, I, I, I don't mean live concerts. But just overall performance. A a any right? musical performer. Yeah. So number five, man. What a tough one for five. Five. It can be any of the five. It don't got to be five. Okay, because so, you might know like Nas is number three. Right. So for me, out of those five, for sure, I gotta say the Wu Tang Clan. Okay. Wu Tang Clan is perhaps one of my favorite rap groups or rap acts of all times. I never had a chance to see them perform. I've had a chance to meet the RZA and You Got. 
Like, as a matter of fact, Rizzo confused me for this guy that he thought I was from New York, and I pretended I was that guy, and he treated me so cool. I was like, man, I really want to be this guy. <laughs> 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 he was really cool with me. But, um, yes, because you got that every man face. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, every bald guy looks alike. Once you shave your head, you've committed to looking like every 40-year-old. Yeah, America, I, I look or like, across the world. I look like hip-hop blanquito. <laughs> it's you know, at different parties we before. all have our doppelganger society so <laughs> someone told you know. me i look like mac miller if he didn't die and just kept taking fentanyl i believe that or at least some of the fentanyl <laughs> i don't want to sound like you're on some of it now <laughs> but um but yeah man so I, i'd say wu-tang you know one of the most impressive things with me with, with them is i remember hearing an interview right a long time ago and the, I forget who it was. It might have been the RZA because he did a lot of the talking at the beginning. The RZA, the Jizza. Yeah, and the you know, I I, I, I got to meet the Jizza, but I didn't have knowledge of self when I met the Jizza. I wasn't there yet. Oh man, you were you? Nah, you know what? Listen, man. I mean, it's not your fault. It, you're younger, but but I think had you had that knowledge, oh man, your conversation would have been all day with the dude. It, it was yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you would have been asking, like, hey man, so what was the concept behind the album Liquid Soul? Yeah, like, no, but I, I would ask him about specific shit because once he gets, he's getting into like the planets and the mathematics and right, the jizz. You know, I, I did this joke when EFM was on the podcast mm -hmm. that you can't go too deep into being woke and into to, to the, the elements of hip hop and supreme mathematics because you're going to lose your mind and be a weirdo if you go too deep. But the jizz was one of the people that could open that door for you, and as long as you you know you know enough. It, he's talking I could imagine that guy must he, he must have seemed like a nice guy because thing. the reason you got were real cool he did a talk me. as a professor at yeah. FIU just one day pulled up man I would have loved to have been on there let me tell you man they were they're, they're just phenomenal people you know it seems like from the outside um but one of the cool things that I remember them saying at the beginning is some of their videos used to wear masks. Yeah. And even on their album covers. And the reasons behind it was that they didn't want you to see their faces first. They wanted you to get used to their voices. They wanted you to memorize them by their voices. Yeah. And hear the identity of who they were. And then at some point is when they expose themselves. But that's, I was like, that's such a dope concept. That inspired MF Doom. Really? Yeah. And you know what? You know what? Even to me, like, you know, I wear shades and believe it or not, I thought that this would be something frivolous that everyone will rec recognize without shades. And majority of the people that see me out there do not recognize me for nothing if I'm not wearing shades. That They can walk right past me. You go incognito. Yeah. Like, sometimes I got to take my shades off. And if they, and if I go, hey, what's up? It's every man. Who? I got to go good shades. Every man. Why didn't you wear the shades first? You know what I mean? Like that's the only way they recognize me. So I, you know, I, I feel like I, I once I heard that with Wu Tang, I was like, it was so impactful, and uh, that shit stuck to me, man. And the way they branded and marketed themselves in that, in their, in, in their span of running with all those albums and all the hype they were getting, it was just ingenious what they did. I was really like, I love Wu Tang. So many so legends in one group. Wu Tang's a, a great one. Yeah, I, that that for me is the top five, and and we'll save the next episode to talk about that. Guys, see you on the next episode. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. It's the Everyman Podcast Show. Social media, Everyman Podcast Show. That is our handle, right? Every Man Podcast Show. I haven't done this in months, man. I got to catch back up with myself. Yes, but follow us even on our website, guys. Check out our content on our website. It'll help you link to everything. EverymanPodcastShow.com. We're on all streaming platforms. Guys, it's season five. It's the fifth season. We plead the fifth on this season for this season. That will be the reason. I don't know. One more reason. I'm John Everyman. This is Mateo. We'll see y'all on the next episode. We Peace, people. Well with the music Yo 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 Amir Yo Reminiscing by my love, we pray to God here for all the A4 dreams. Say adios, can I get those? My mind devotion, hand me roses, mind the rosen. Traded for the blood that's open. I blew profan, pain is soaking. Relieve away the bios and believers. Oh, yeah. they, they said they ain't cutting the lights off. Okay, uh, um, <laughs> that was just making you don't sure. You don't pay me enough. Yeah, the sound guy says it's over. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't even care if I got nothing to do with the electricity. I'm just out of here.